Hi friends, Wanda here. This is a follow-up to uh, this previous live tutorial that I posted uh, just a minute ago. <laughs> Anyways, what these are going to post directly after each other. I was playing around um, and I made another one. Now, this is not about um, the settings or the application of the resin, but it's about the the foil, the plastic. This here, see all the different colors in that? Is this. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thought that would make that? But when you crinkle this all up, Then all of a sudden you have facets, right? And then when you put facets on something dark, can you see how this happens? Okay, this was just on the bare rock. Well, I put some uh, top coat nail polish down and then stuck it to the bare rock. No paint underneath it. Anyways, uh, I will show you exactly how I did it coming up right now. Enjoy. Okay, so I am going to try to work this out with <laughs> the bridge or the uh, you know fence theory so I'm going to use this very thick treasure gold 3081e I'm going to try to use that to keep the resin in so this is a test test one well, test two, because the live was number one. So my idea here is I'm going to be layering a few coats of this. This is kind of what I do uh, when I'm doing foils most of the time. I'll use some sort of paint to line first so that it keeps the foil glue from spilling out everywhere. It works sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> paint on the finger. So I have not um, sealed, treated, I haven't even washed this rock. <laughs> it's just a river rock, or I don't even know if it's a river rock. This one is from my driveway, well, my yard. So... I actually think it might be beautiful on this rock. You never know, right? I'm making it super duper thick. Sort of like um, if you if you do resin or yeah resin paint pouring maybe 
Sometimes uh, people take glue sticks and hot glue gun and they'll make a mold on a surface using the glue. They'll put the glue down and then they'll pour the resin in there and it kind of acts like a fence. So I'm sort of doing that but with paint and paint is basically glue with pigment. So hopefully, hopefully it works. The difference is I want it to stay in there forever. I'm not going to peel it up and put it anywhere. I want it here. Okay, that's pretty thick. Can you see that? We have a bump here because there's a notch in the rock. So I'm going to try to build that up just a little bit. Sometimes thick paint comes in handy. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, I'm gonna prop my rock here with this pretty eraser. Thank you, Ju uh, Lori. <laughs> Sorry, thank you, Lori, so much. Um, anyways, because it's sort of tilted and I'm going to be adding some uh, resin, or <laughs> eventually some resin in there, yes. Starting with UV top coat and a crinkly piece of mylar that looks like nail foil, but it is not nail foil. Gloves. Okay, so I'm spreading the top coat. This is Beetle's UV top coat. Not necessarily need to be this brand. Um, anyways, I'm spreading it in the oval inside the gold fence, <laughs> we'll call it for right now. We're sciencing this art project. Experiment number two. Boy, that sure is pretty just all by itself. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so it's what color mylar? I didn't paint it black in there like the other one because the rock is dark. So this was the green color from before. Let's do a different color. Let's do a purple. I don't even know if it'll show up. <laughs> but we shall see. Okay, so I am going to cut it out first in this shape. Obviously, I'm terrible at cutting here. Oh, we can't see good. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I am going to crinkle and make a mess of this piece. And then I'm going to unfold it, uncrinkle it. Such beauty, gorgeousness. And now. Going to pop it in here. I didn't even cut it small enough. Darn it. Okay, so after that is cured, I'm going to have to add some more gold paint because it will just spill off of the top of this. So probably in the future, maybe do paint second. That is so gorgeous. 
Look at how that purple turned so beautiful. <laughs> okay, sorry. Again, giddy, 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 giddy up. <laughs> okay, so just going to cure that one cycle here to cure the top coat. Okay, I had a little gold leak here. Apparently the glue, or the paint wasn't dry. Weird. But it's that little hole there. Oh. A little section that didn't adhere either. Okay, so need to work on that. So I'm going to lift here if I can. Do you want to make sure that it's laying down pretty flat? Okay, there's the hole. Okay. And I'm going to add in some of the top coat. Lay it back down and cure it. Okay, so now I'm going to, that that's cured, I'm going to uh, do another line coat of the gold. A nice thick outline. This paint that I'm using, it um, it doesn't come this thick, but after time in the lid, it thickens up. So if you need it to, if you need a really thick paint, you can take some, put it in a jar, a little. Let me show you, uh, like this, per se, and leave it open, not overnight or nothing. Just leave it open for a few hours, let it thicken up, then close it, then. You know, do that for a few times and it will thicken up like this. Sometimes it's important to have a thick, thick, thick paint. <laughs> let that dry okay dry enough just a reminder this is what this started as incredible right I just don't even know how it gets there from there anyways uh, beautiful <laughs> okay so I have it propped on mr. pen white eraser that's uh, just erasers work quite well to prop a rock 
Okay, I'm going to use some resin. I'm going to see if I have any left in here. So what I learned from the last one is don't overfill. <laughs> and this rock is not propped up enough. So use a toothpick or something uh, like a silicone stick to bring the resin to the edges. I'm kind of using gravity to help me here for a minute. I'm going to try not to go past the paint. So some more Okay, I'm going to torch that, get the bubbles out. <laughs> and, oh, oh. okay, be careful. I'm going to cure it so it doesn't spill everywhere. This is so cool. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, I'll clear. I'll cured. I am going to attempt to attach these rhinestones <laughs> around here. So I am not going to do them, attach them all on video, but I will attach a few. This is UV top coat. That's a refill. It's Gelixer. No wipe top coat. UV And I'll be using a Q-tip or a toothpick, lolly, and my rhinestone picker. And I'm going to start right here. On both ends.
this back here. Here. <laughs> Okay, well, this is what I came up with. I'm not a jewel setter either, but I think it's kind of pretty. The point is, that is beautiful. And that was that. Can you believe it? So I think we can do lots of things with this and uh, expand on it. Uh, somebody mentioned a dragon eye. And holy moly, there's a lot of applications this could be used on and if you're a jewelry maker absolutely you can do pendants and all kinds of things um go over and check out um thinking outside the box and she has many 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 videos of things like this she's a uh, works predominantly with jewelry and and beaded things this is such a cool technique and uh, I think you'll enjoy her tutorials immensely they're gorgeous thanks for tuning in here today and uh, if you liked what you saw here please hit subscribe if you uh, would like to be notified hit the bell and come on over and visit us at creative rock art and foil techniques on Facebook 
fun and friends. Take care. See you soon.